Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a quick and easy veggie tofu scramble. I've got some kale spring mix there with a block of tofu, white mushrooms, I've got a red onion, green onion, um, garlic stuffed olives, but you can use any kind of olives, <laughs> and a green pepper as well. So I'm gonna take all these veggies and spice it up. Um, I do about a teaspoon of paprika, and as well we have um, garlic powder behind there, a teaspoon of that, and this everything bagel seasoning just gives it some extra flavor. So the first thing I do is chop up the onions, mushrooms, and green pepper. I very lightly greased the pan with olive oil. Um, so I'm going to put those in first to get them frying, because I like my... Uh, uh, mushrooms a little bit golden kind of fried up pretty well so I'm just giving it a little stir um, it doesn't take more than maybe uh, about five minutes before it starts browning I mean don't want to burn it but once it's starting to brown I season it here with half a teaspoon of the paprika and then half a teaspoon of the garlic powder I will use the other half teaspoons later directly onto the tofu so once it looks pretty golden brown to your liking, um, if you want your onions or your peppers a little more fried, or if you were using other ingredients, you might not fry it for quite as long. I forgot I did end up adding some baby tomatoes, but that garlic stuffed um, the olives, it does break apart, but it's delicious. Um, if you don't like getting chunks of garlic cloves in your meal, then you wouldn't want to use that kind, but personally, I find it um, very good. So after it cooks a little bit longer um, and I have everything golden and then ready for the tofu, I have squeezed out all the water. There wasn't much because this was the extra firm kind, um, but I just crumbled it and I do apologize. I was cooking and grabbing the camera, so some of the angles are a little off, but you can see I used the other half of the seasoning. And once it was crumbled up really well, I just keep kind of giving it a toss so the tofu will um, cook through. And I use a few handfuls of the kale mix here. I probably could have even used more. It's simply because it wilts down to practically nothing. So load it right up because here you can see um, it looks like I put in practically <laughs> nothing, just very little greens, but you saw how much was really there. I have only slices of vegan cheese on hand right now, so I chopped it up into small cubes as well as that green onion. And I toss that in there to start to melt. If I had my regular vegan shreds, I would have used a handful of those. Um, but this cheese melts really well too. And so you only actually need one slice chopped up. Um, the green onion just gives it some extra flavor. If you're not as big of a fan of onions as I am, then you might want to leave that one out because <laughs> we're hitting it up with a little more onion flavor with the everything bagel seasoning. But it's actually uh, very good in this. I was getting ready to plate this up, so I put a handful of raw greens in my bowl um, as the base. But I also made a piece of toast with this Dempster's protein bread and regular hummus. And then I spoon all the tofu scramble on top of the raw greens and they kind of begin to wilt down as well. But it just gives it a little more texture and crunch. And that toast has a little sprinkle of the everything bagel seasoning and it is phenomenal. The best thing about making this tofu scramble is the tofu is really just the base. And, you know, if you don't have green peppers, but you try some red peppers or any kind of... I've done it with corn and black olives, and I've tried just straight spinach. Uh, as well as sometimes I add a bit of sriracha or I leave out the paprika and put in some hot pepper rings. It's really endless. Depending on the flavors I use, I might actually um, have it with a bit of ketchup. But right now my go-to has been the hummus on bread. So I hope you enjoyed this and I really hope you will try it. If you do or if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching.